That's a fun title. Yeah. Welcome back to Let's Play Trauma Center New Blood. I'm Red X Parasite. I'm Air327. And there is no escape. <laughs> They've ignored us for three days now. What's going on? I mean, hopefully they gave you food and water at some point. Yeah. Water in particular, because you'd be like on the verge of death if you didn't have water yeah. for that amount of time. If you're that, ang if you're that, if you have enough energy to be that angry, they gave you water. They haven't ignored you, you no completely for three days. No reason to believe that a rescue team is on its way, and there's been no talk of a ransom. I hate to say this, but the situation looks grim. If you just then, used your GPS, then this would have never escape? happened. We could use our scalpels as weapons, but <laughs> the risk is too high. I don't think we should. I'm pretty sure well, that, that you should not bring a scalpel to a gunfight. Well, that aren't scalpels pretty much designed to make incisions without, with as little actual damage as possible. Yeah, I mean, you could still cut, you could still slice somebody's neck with it, but yeah, but it's not exactly made as a weapon. No. They, they definitely do not have range going for them. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's better to wait a little while longer and see what their next move is. Oh, that sounds that like their next shot? move. I'm scared. Scrap the scalpel idea. <laughs> <laughs> Let's use What if we load the scalpel into a gun? <laughs> oh. <laughs> but first, we need the key to this room. Get in there. Ah! <laughs> Oh hey, it's this guy without the mask. What's going Wait, on here? Wasn't he in one of the previous chapters briefly? Yes, yes he was. I couldn't tell you anything about him, but I recognized the drawing. He was asking for drugs. Right. He was that guy. Save him or let him die. I don't care either way. He's nothing but a traitor to us. This is a shotgun wound. Please help me. <laughs> Now you could use some pain medication. See For what real. Mess you got yourself into. Yeah. <laughs> I did what I was hired to do, so, so I thought I'd split. What a fool. You know the rules. And, and so, so do I. I was <laughs> 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 we both He's went there. Profusely. Completely insane. That was great. We need blood. Artificial is fine. So you're gonna operate on him? You must be crazy. Crazy is in our job description. <laughs> I'll get you the blood, but you'll owe me. John Paul Massey is his name, apparently. Hmm. Multiple shotgun wounds to the chest. <laughs> he's coughing up blood and suffering from dyspnea. It's likely there's a pellet in his lungs. Oh, he's having trouble breathing. We know hmm. what that means, dyspnea. <laughs> We're in a race against time. I wonder how many times that came up during diagnosis. I feel yeah. like a lot. <laughs> yeah. It's a word that I don't think I'd we ever don't heard have any stabilizer. Well, Also, I, mean, I like how it's like... much of a reason to. Yeah. We're in a race against time. You mean beyond the five-minute time limit that they give us every time? Gel. Sometimes it's ten. Still, no, point is, we can't we're always technically like in a race against time. Okay, so Sometimes it's just more of a contest than others. Uh, very important line that you just missed. We have a limited amount of antibiotic gel. Oh, so we don't, you know, it won't replenish over time. We don't have okay. a choice. He won't survive unless we operate now. So when you're using antibiotic gel on something, don't. just tap A very lightly. It will work. Yeah, don't just believe me. Don't do the traditional. <laughs> yes, as long as we yeah. still call ourselves fire doctors, hose approach. We can't just leave yeah, him to yeah, die. It's, it's exactly like yeah. that. <laughs> or to go with really inappropriate Understood. terminology, don't use the shotgun approach. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, then please, the interesting about this thing about this is that, luckily for us, we don't have to deal with the, an accurate number of shotgun pellets. In this case, yes, it's going to be more than if you just shot with like, you know, a rifle and it was just a single, you know, single bullet. Mm -hmm. But yeah, because you know, in I don't know exactly how many pellets are in a given shotgun shell, but. I would, imagine, I would imagine that it's not always a fixed number. There isn't any stabilizer. It might not be. So it might be sometimes they get the packed better than others. During the operation. Yeah. It's probably just until it fills up and it's about this many, but it All might right, also be closer this. to this many. Also, I'm pretty sure we don't have stabilizer, actually. Oh, fucking hell. So yeah, that's why you want to conserve the, uh, looking at the gunshot wounds, antibiotic the gel. So, shot in the chest, I now completely agree that we're crazy. In the right lung. 
Okay, so the way there are gonna be two different varieties of these wounds. If it's a wound with no pellet in it, you can just use the uh, you can just put a uh, thing on it. I can't remember what the name of it is. The rectangles. <laughs> yeah, put a rectangle. <laughs> or the square. On it. Square, and then you know just use the gel. If there yeah. is a pellet in yeah, see, it. See, the thing is, you're talking to me. So, for me. They're the rectangles. Okay, so <laughs> if, if, if there's a pellet still inside of the wound, so you're, gonna need, you're gonna need to extract it with the forceps, drain the blood, and then rectangle gel. Okay. <laughs> All we have is what's left of the antibiotic gel. Please try to conserve it. But we need the gel to treat the gunshot wounds. What'll we do if we run out? Suture. If worse comes to worse, Pray. we'll just have to suture them. We'll drop his vitals, but we as, have no choice. As long as we conserve our antibiotic gel well enough, it won't be Understood. a problem. Okay. It's been properly placed. Uh, grab the, the yeah. pellets. All right. The shotgun pellet has been removed. Please drain the blood and treat the gunshot wound. The external wounds have been treated. I did one thing. Let's continue on to extracting the pellets from inside the right lung. Crap, that was my Please bad. Please open him up. We're probably not going to get a great score on this because of that. Yeah. It's hemorrhaging severely. Should I double the check that we can and whether or not we can stabilize? Or we can't. Are you sure? Be, yeah, she's not there. The oh, yeah, you're right. Now the shotgun apply will fix the membrane with antibiotic gel. We need to conserve how much we use. We've gone through a little less than half of our remaining supply of antibiotic gel. We've extracted the pellets and treated the gunshot wounds. Let's close him so the, the reason that you want to conserve as much antibiotic gel as you can is no one, his vitals like this. Uh, you can use it to recover his vitals at the end. Mm. And two, if you want to get Please a cool on the bandage, you have to clean the area. Your guard down until you're finished. Ah. So we're going to have to be actually very careful with this. We are running low on the gel. Cool, we got it. And now we'll just we use it until we run out. out uh, okay, does that apply to both of us? It does not. All right, get his vitals up as much as possible. Uh, become an antibiotic. Somehow. I've come to realize just how valuable this data is. I've known forever. It's a miracle drug. That was an operation that only the two of you could have performed. Great work, Except for I, us and everyone else who's ever played this game. Okay, so now that I think about it, there actually is probably a bonus for not using up all the gel that we probably didn't get because I used up all ah. of mine, so. Maybe we'll start an interesting word. See, <laughs> I don't know if we nice can spell work, anything Doc. with that. Actually, I think the last yeah. one we got was a B. Yeah, the we could start working on cab. Live for now. Besides, we can always use his organs later if need. Boss of your. Well, well maybe. He seems like a nice man. Oh wait! Hey, we did we did get something at least. We got BBC. Oh hey! <laughs> we're st we're still not we still haven't done any of the, like the four letter ones though. No. Hey, get up! Hey, what if we could get scabs? <laughs> that would be the ultimate one. That would be impressive. Another day in paradise. I'd like to get some sun soon. So, doctors, how are you doing? Couldn't be better. Thanks. I'm not trying to make small talk. It's a serious question. <laughs> What? Let me see your eyes. All right, these three are clean. What have you got in store for us now? Oh, nothing special. Just another operation. Stigma again. Found yourself a new lab rat, huh? Hardly. You can blame Mother Nature for this one. Is that what you tell yourself? Hey, we didn't plan <laughs> this one. It was infected by the other patient. That's news. Hmm. What? That's impossible. Stigma can't be contracted that way. Like I said before, I'm not here to answer questions, but the boss and the director will be observing the operation. So make sure you don't disappoint them. Doctor. It seems stigma is more dangerous than we thought. It's a particularly bad thing since, you know, we're here and trapped and kidnapped and, you know, yeah. not back at Caduceus. This way, boss. Hey. You look just like you did on TV. What's up, Doc? The name's Kidman. I run so the show. So did you like here. stick your head in a cotton candy machine? It's part of the mask, but it does look like that. <laughs> <laughs> You're in charge here. Are either of you doctors? 
Double ellipses. This patient's <laughs> got the onyx strand. You know the drill, right? Don't fail me. If you want to live. Is this how you get your kicks on Route 66? <laughs> Don't get cocky, Doc. This isn't a game. It's business. Don't get too cocky, Star Fox. <laughs> business? And what, pray tell, are you selling? I think it's pretty obvious what they're selling, Valerie. Death. Weapons are worth a fortune on the black market. But you wouldn't know about that, would you, Doc? Stigma is one deadly weapon, especially to the medical industry. Well, considering the medical industry typically deals with death and trying to prevent it, yes. <laughs> so the best market for it is a war zone. Stigma would be the ultimate weapon there. It still needs some fine tuning, though. It's a clever plan, in theory, but there's no way it'll work. Oh, yes it will. Cause I have you guys to help me. Leland, bring in the patient. How about you, Director? Would you like to stay and watch? That won't be necessary. With the skills they've demonstrated, there should be no problem. And the chance of tertiary infection is theoretically zero. You're the creator that of sounds stigma. sounds reassuring. Professor Wilkins? All right, Leland. Let's get this show on the road. Okay, so this is going to be similar to last time, but not exactly the same. This also, this guy is, an, is uh, ID 200, even. Oh, yeah. Well, the last one... Well, actually, was the last one 199? Or is that the patient before that? I don't know. These all seem to be However, pretty random. However, the variations are definitely greater well, it usually than is fairly before. random. A secondary infection. That means stigma has changed again. <laughs> We're reenacting that TV show right here. Good luck to you, huh, Doc? Watch out for Onyx. Its claws are sharp. I've had enough of your mouth. Just ignore him, Val. <laughs> I literally just put in those lines where he I'll says nothing. It's no like, what kind of stick? By the way, he asked. still exists. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so it's gonna be pretty similar up until it's a new type the last part. It stops being we similar. Yeah, happen. pretty much. Be careful. I just tried to phrase it a little bit more eloquently than that. <laughs> the onyx is hiding somewhere. Use the ultrasound. We found the it's exposed. Inject yeah. it with a serum. The serum is still effective. The onyx has gone into hiding. Special patterns haven't changed. We can expect it to start making fake copies of itself. Look carefully and find the real one. It's going into hiding. Find it. Like this one is actually it like not all that bad when you know how to do it. Hang in there, doctor. What the? Yeah. Why okay, so this is where it gets different. The, uh, the vitals are gonna keep dropping continuously. Uh, it's still on a timer though, so we're still gonna have to find the one with four eyes. So we're gonna want to want to prioritize that. Okay. So I know you're gonna want to raise the vitals, but. Um, it's really not a good idea since, you know. Did it inject toxins okay. into the bloodstream? The ultrasound is useless if it's like this. Are you saying this is some form of self-defense against us? I can't believe it. I think it. we'll have to go through this like twice for this particular operation. Find it and we'll remove keep it your scalpel. eyes peeled back. Okay. All right, we can do this while it's going diving back into no the organ. Because we don't have to follow it, follow it around this time since we don't know where it's going to pop up again. Please let okay. this be it. That was it. There are no remaining wounds either. Let's close them up. So we did pretty well with this one actually. Please Mostly you. I put some uh, stabilizer in. Yeah, this is a hard one to multitask on to be honest. Yeah. The, the second part allows for a little bit more in the way of multitasking, but still it's not much. Different from yeah. the other onyx. If something like this were to be used as a weapon, we need to get back to Caduceus and tell them about this. Yeah, about that. Maybe uh, don't say that in front of the people that are determined to keep you here. <laughs> right. <laughs> like, wait until you're alone again. Okay, so no mistakes. I mean, no they mistakes. still might be listening to you, but you at least don't know for sure oh, they're it, listening to you. Yeah, it must have been a time one that we missed on the other one, I think. The other Onyx operation. Ow. Oh. Hey! What now, boss? I'll give them a choice, but I doubt they'll join up voluntarily. The three of them are all quite firm. Maybe if they could... Nah. 
Only the head honcho would be able to perform such an operation. If they're not willing to cooperate, then we'll wash our hands of them. That sounds reassuring. Oh, yeah. Well, BCS. <laughs> yeah, we, we, don't, we don't got anything. Okay, no. well, uh, thank you for watching this episode. Uh, I've been Redix Parasite. I've been Air327. Signing out.